Good day people, welcome back to my Patreon page which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. I'm your host Shaheen. In uh, normally I put this content midweek analysis in on my Patreon page which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. Uh, but uh, today I thought I will shall throw it on YouTube so that more and more people can join. Um, and I really, really support if you can join me on my Patreon. I'm only charging $29 US per month. Um, for important updates such as this so we're going to revise our um, analysis on gold and uh, we're going to look at silver and commodity currency then we'll also look at uh, British pound and uh, euro uh, and we'll sort of look at Bitcoin as well and uh, maybe I'll do a quick comment on the um, stock market as well so let's do a quick one um, and crude oil as well so let's do a quick one analysis uh, is uh, early in the part of the uh, trading day uh, in my previous analysis, I told you guys that we were expecting this to be wave 1 and 2, wave 3 and wave 4. Uh, wave 4 were expected to be ended right over here too, and then wave 5. The only problem, and then we were expecting uh, this to be an ABC structure, an A, a B, and C, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The only problem is that the structure is complete right now, but it is being followed by a corrective pattern right over here too which is not a good thing indicating that this 5 wave structure is complete but it is only of a smaller degree so if a corrective if a 5 wave structure is followed by a corrective structure and you're expecting an impulse uh, zigzag pattern mm, <coughs> and you're expecting a zigzag pattern mm, then it means that only part of the corrective pattern is only part of the corrective pattern that actually started from over here is complete <coughs> it also means that we are going further up so this is uh, a little update from we were expecting this pattern to be completing earlier right over here too but the corrective pattern right followed after that in giving us indication that we are pushing after as far as the longer forecast is concerned we are still uh, bearish on gold within this swing that actually started right from over here I do believe that that swing is yet not complete we have one two and three and four in that case price goes beyond that intersection right over here too that will turn that into an ending diagonal alright so in that case we can consider we can consider the inside price movement once again but now looking at the smaller price action we can clearly say that the price is expected to go up I have some technical analysis right over here too support and uh, trend support analysis I wanna show you guys right over here too so point being is price went beyond the support line and retested right over here too this one I wanted to show another point one is here is that you're expecting prices to bounce off in that area instead right now price is sitting comfortably on that top of that area giving us an indication that's a good buying point to go along once again um, that understand that uh, money management is crucial for uh, trading in all these markets have a quick look at silver now silver again once again we have kind of completed the pattern I believe that right over here top followed by right over a corrective pattern I was expecting to be an ending diagonal finishing right over here too but no this whole pattern that starts from right over here too is a corrective pattern giving us an indication that the next major move in silver is upward right over here too once again our forecast from the top that we have a 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 is not yet broken the only thing is that the correction that you're expecting to be ended in this area is complete is yet not complete instead this is of a smaller price move this is right over you can consider it right over here too you can consider it as a zigzag or this pattern and then that pattern or you can actually we consider that the pattern actually started right from over here goes all the way over the top and then the corrective pattern because this pattern is definitely corrective or if you want to consider it right from over here this is also corrective pattern <coughs> so once again I'm expecting that the next uh, today will be a bullish day for gold and silver and I wanted to update you guys uh, you get all of these updates like today midweek analysis on my patreon come join me on my patreon platinum is really messy the structure has gone really really bad uh, so what we can do right now we can do one thing and that is we can consider this whole structure as impulsive 
starting from this whole structure as an impulsive uh, I'm not impulsive corrective sorry pardon my words with that give me a moment I want to display the support and resistance of this area So I'm right now considering that the next move, let's not push that over here, is going to be somewhere over here in platinum, alright? And we'll wait for this, pat this pattern to be completed, and we'll give a more forecast after that. In Euro, let's have a quick look on Euro. This whole pattern, once again, that we were expecting to be completed at zone over here, is being followed by a corrective pattern, giving an indication that the pattern is yet not complete. Let me have a... Uh, give me a moment. The corrective pattern that's being followed right after or right from over here, A, B, C, and this one, and this one, right over here too. Once again, please pay attention that we have gone beyond the important resistance point area. We are sitting comfortably on top of it, so we are bullish on Euro. Once again, a smaller degree 5F structure is complete, followed by a correction, giving an indication more strength has to come in Euro. We can see a similar structure in British Pound. <coughs> right over here too, we can clearly see a corrective structure. So we have an impulsive move, we will finish. Once again, a similar thing we were expecting it to be finishing. But what is being followed after that is a corrective pattern. And we are finding support in this region right over here too, which is wave 4 of a previous 5 wave structure. Giving us an indication more price upward, we can turn that into wave smaller wave 1 and smaller 2. Similarly, in Euro, we can turn that into smaller wave 1 and a smaller 2, or you can consider it as A, B, and C, and f followed by a W, <coughs> and followed by an X. <coughs> so we can consider this as an A, B, C, which is a W, and this is an X, another A, B, and C is expected. Or you can consider this whole my price movement as A and B, and this is wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and further down 5. <coughs> so you can see a similar pattern in Canadian dollar. Let's have a do a quickly look on uh, our stock market. There's a possibility that we will see price moving going up and down right over here in this region before we can actually go up. So I'm considering that the correction actually started from over here is yet not complete. We can see this price movement going in, but the follow up right over here is, is not an impulsive move. So giving them an indication that what started from over here is yet not complete. So we can actually vibrate up and down right over here too. And just in sake, in case we have not able to read this correctly, if prices can follow uh, out of this region very importantly, that will be indication that we will carry actually our bullish price movement um, that we actually said that we will go from over here. Alright, 
this is the outlook for stock market a similar kind of pattern we seen in uh, S&P 500 and Nasdaq uh, this is Dow Jones 30 this is Nasdaq 100 and S&P 500 I hope that you guys will be able to get some benefit uh, from it Australian dollar once again is showing a similar pattern we have completed an impulsive wave followed by a corrective and impulsive followed by a corrective so you can consider this as easily an A, B and wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 or you can consider this as an A, B and C which is a W and X another A, B, C A, B and C so all this pattern is being uh, visible right now in the the uh, stock market is uh, invisible not only in the stock market in the commodity markets in the forex market which is uh, british pound and euro especially and then we can see um, a, a corrective pattern in platinum giving us an advice that we are expected to see prices going upward silver is expected to go up as well gold is expected to go up as well too wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye